In this video, I'll talk about CGI in photography, and in particular, the 3D program Blender. G'day everyone, it's Chris here from Chris Mitchell Studios. I want to talk to you today about the benefits of using the open source and free 3D program Blender for photography. So why even use CGI in your photography? You can use it to create nice simple backgrounds and if you make a mistake it can be easily fixed. You can use it to create a more complex scene with lots of action in it. You can create a location where it would be very difficult to shoot in real life. You can create a set that would be too large for your available space. Once your large set has been created, you can change it at a later stage. Once your entire 3D model has been created, you can shoot it from different angles with different lenses and create many different shots. And of course you can create something that doesn't exist in real life. So just how good is Blender and what can you create with it? Well you can create cars or any vehicle you'd like. You can create interior scenes including bathrooms and bedrooms and well anything you'd like. You can create a small part of the city, or a large part of the city. Want an ocean? No problems. Or even a nice meadow. Or the mountains that surround it. But let's go big or go home, and create an entire planet. Or, once again, just create something that doesn't exist. OK, so you're interested, what do you do now? The first step is to download Blender. Just go to the download section at blender.org. Links will be in the description below for all the websites, YouTube channels and plugins that I mention. The best place to learn for a beginner will be Born CG on YouTube. Some very useful plugins are Measure It, Make Human and Hard Ops. A couple of other useful websites are Blendswap.com and Textures.com. OK, so when you first open up Blender, your start screen will be a little different from this. I have two screens and uh, this is what the second one looks like on the second monitor and um, I just have a different start file to what you'll have, I've customised mine. Now just go to file and user preferences and you can change your mouse click from right select to left select and in the add-on section enable the plugin import images as planes, this will help your compositing later on. Then, importantly, save your user settings, and you can close that window out. Now, you can also go and change your units from Blender units to metric, or imperial if you'd like. This makes the models full scale and real world. And the Measure It add-on is over in your tab on the left-hand side, as well as the Hard Ops add-on. And you can look on YouTube on how to install and use these add-ons. There's also the Make Human add-on, which allows you to import Make Human models. And I scale these to uh, real-world sizes, both male and female. And for each shot, I have an individual camera set up on its own layer. And this is just the base layer with the lighting set up for the model. And that's about it for the basic setup. In the next video, I'll talk about how I created this image from start to finish. Not today. Don't say today. You want it to say today. Don't say today. I want to talk to you about the something or other photography, and in particular the 3D program Blender. Blender can give you and create opportunities. Bugger. Let's see how that. And I haven't been drinking either.